Time to talk winners and losers with our financial expert, Rob Black. And Rob, it looks like the markets are uh, doing pretty well. well they're trying. Um, it's an attempt to stop a three-day skid. Um, we'll see if we're successful by the end of the day, Daria. Um, some bad news out there. American Delta Southwest are warning that things aren't great. They're okay. They're good, but they're not great. Microsoft is delaying employees coming back to the office indefinitely because COVID is surging. And this is the good one. Moderna is going to have a flu shot slash COVID booster combo ready sooner than later. But on top of that, it's research day at Moderna. They said they're working on a cancer vaccine. Um, it's what? only in phase two trials. Wow. But that's pretty exciting. And they're looking for individual immune responses to spike with cancer. Um, they're looking for about 30 days of things are in the grooviness area, and then they'll move on to a phase three. But, but there's long like story a million short, MRNA kinds of cancer. is pretty cool. No, like what can I mean, there's so many different kinds of cancer. I just take a vaccine, yeah. it'll cover me. I'm just reading their press release off their um, research day. Yeah. Um, but obviously, your immune response could, in theory, kill cancerous cells, oh. and they're trying to boost immune responses. So I'm just thankful companies like this that are in the 21st century are helping us. And I think the COVID flu uh, combination yeah. uh, booster shot sounds good, too. Did you sign up for the regular flu shot? Because we're getting a Micron a couple of weeks. I, I, I do that every year, especially when they're my favorite thing, <laughs> free. Um, okay, let's talk about Amazon moving into the TV market. So now I'm going to watch my Amazon shows on Amazon TV. Um, yeah, but you're also going to play video games on your TV. You're also going to control your thermostat on your TV, maybe your LED lights, um, TV, videos, speakers, thermostats, everything that's in your home network, they're trying to put into one area. They're trying to make it so you can plug in the TV and it's automatically hooked up to the connection if you've hooked anything else up to Amazon's network before. Um, so they're trying to make it good for people like me who don't want to spend Christmas searching wires and plugs. But it also opens the door for me to get into consoles. There's a new trend, Daria. Instead of going out and buying a console and putting the wires into your TV, yeah. you just have a fast internet connection and you plug a joystick into your TV and start playing that way without the console on your end. The console and the power will be on Microsoft's or Amazon's end. Well, that would and be Amazon good. just set up a, a service called Luna, yeah. which you and I could like do some really simple games like bowling from our couch. But you could be on your couch, I could be on my couch, and we could watch each other on camera. So. 21st century, it's happening, and that's why Amazon's getting into television. Just as long as I could play, like, Apple TV, you know, the shows, on the Amazon TV, I feel like sometimes they're at war and they purposely make it so they won't work with each other. Yeah, so I have an Apple TV, and um, I just set up a wireless uh, uh, doorbell, and it's pretty interesting. I could be watching Ted Lasso, and then you can come up to my door, yeah. ring the doorbell, and I see your picture in front of my house on my TV right under Ted Lasso. You know what? I don't want people interrupting my shows. It's bad enough when I'm watching <laughs> on my phone and somebody calls me and then my TV show stops. You're tough to please, Daria. <laughs> You're tough to please. Okay, what's going on with um, White Claw? Is it over? Because people are crazy it's about over. this. It's, it's over. What are we drinking now? Uh, well, we'll still continue to drink carbonated fizzy drinks, but the hyper growth is over. Let me give you a couple quick thoughts. When we started quarantine in March of 2019, Boston beer stock was at 350. Flash forward one year and it's at 1400. Now it's at $510. Um, there's just a slowdown as a lot of competition from the beer companies came in. Um, great concept, great idea, um, few calories, good buzz, but the hyper growth is over. Okay, well, I'll just stick with regular old beer, like if you're talking about beer. I like beer. All right, thank, thank you. you, Robbie. If you have a Good question day. for Rob, uh, you can reach him by email or Facebook or Twitter.